it just feels like an event. It's just unlike any other. And I love it because you really feel like you're part of something which has gone back over the generations. And obviously there's all the pomp and circumstance that comes with the mayor coming and all the prayers and the hymns always sound fantastic and acoustic. The heart of Founders Day is remembering John Whitson. He was a merchant, a, a Lord Mayor, an MP, and he was the founder of the Red Maid School. And on Founders Day, we're remembering him and his commitment, even, even in the 17th century, to the roles of girls. Extracts from the last will and testament of John Whitson, Alderman of the City of Bristol. When John Whitson's will is read, it reminds us of him and what he did, the way he thought of like other people and he wasn't just thinking of his lifetime, he thought of generations afterwards. We're like the memory of his will. ...and caused them and their to be kept and maintained and also taught to read English and to serve or to do some other noble work towards their maintenance <coughs> and shall cause every one of the said women children to go and be a power of the red cloth. When you first come and meet at Welshback, everyone's so excited and there's all kind of this buzz. We're all wearing our gabardines and I can just see my mum and dad there with a little camera and they'll take pictures. Everyone gathers from the juniors up to the sixth form, just the lap coats. And we're in height order, so if you're really small, right at the front. <laughs> It's amazing to feel part of the history. That's what makes us Red Maids. We're the oldest girls' school in the country, and that's why we love it. The parade can only be described as, an, as a special and an exciting experience. The level of importance, as you see the horses parading along and escorting you to the cathedral. Although we're all individuals, you're part of something. And if you think of the numbers of people who've been part of the same thing, it's an amazing feeling that just makes you feel special. There's a point by the Hippodrome, you turn around and there's the rest of your school behind you and some in front of you and it just makes you proud to be part of the Older Skills School. The Mayor is standing there waving at us, it's nice to see him supporting the Red Maid School. It's one of the few things that Red Maids always has done. Lots has changed about Red Maids in the years but this has stayed every year since Red Maids has been founded so it makes you feel united to everybody. Then we also sing the Te Deum, which is the school chant, and it's really special to feel that we have our own chant for the school. And it's nice to have the whole school gathered together with all the parents and teachers and old girls who really enjoy it as well coming back to support the school. The coin was always special because it's a badge of red leads, really. <laughs> As a former pupil, it's a wonderful experience to be able to say you were part of this, that we've been able to continue this tradition and yet create a modern day school, giving the children of Bristol today still such a fabulous educational background. Thank you very much. Today the school is thriving, but I think it's essential that we look back and we remember that it was one man's vision, one man's generosity, one man's commitment to young women. And if it hadn't been for that, the school wouldn't be here. So we look back and we're grateful and we draw inspiration from that. I'm very proud of being a Red Maid. And better still, I have a 14-year-old granddaughter who's also a Red Maid. All the things I've done in my life, I can work back to when I was a Red Maid. I see my grandma Esme James and it was nice because she's an old maid and I'm a, red, a new red maid and it was nice to see everyone in the crowd and all of the people who left recently, like last year, it's nice to see them too. There's a great tradition of service that is taught in the school and it's important to reflect on where the school comes from to project forward and allow the girls to move into their future lives and careers and family commitments with the values that this school had in the past. This is my last Founders Day, my seventh. It's quite a sad moment. It's 
probably been the best out of all of them. They get better every year, which is really lovely, and I'm going to miss it a lot. Definitely. It's really amazing. It's just a complete different experience. After experience one, I think I want to go for all seven. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great.